Hello guys, uh, just a little quick update on the Metacomp HDA. I've added another method that is doing retargeting inside of Houdini. So what's the deal? We can go inside of Unreal and uh, here I have a standard MetaHuman with a flip animation. I've applied animation only to a body skeletal mesh and the face is uh, automatically in place and animated. So we can uh, just right click on the body mesh and uh, bake animation sequence, select a folder and so on. And uh, we have uh, our animated body. Also, we can do this for the face, the same steps, bake animation sequence, select folder and so on. So we have an animated face skeletal mesh with a skeleton. And then we can go to Houdini and uh, just import body with FBX character import and uh, and the face. Apply the animation and uh, merge. We will have all in place without any distortions uh, in the neck area like uh, it was in my previous version. But the con of it is uh, we have to export import another asset. In the previous version we export from Unreal only animation for the body and inside Houdini we just uh, retargeting it. I've just uh, rewarded uh, some stuff here, but globally this is the same. So we have two methods. The previous one is called weights now. The second method is uh, retarget. You can select it from the drop down here. And for this to work, we need three of these uh, fields, four of these fields set up the body mesh, uh, the face mesh, the animation, and new name for imported animation. This method is a bit slow. It wouldn't uh, in real time but we can reduce the cost by caching our IK so I've added a file cache path parameter here select the folder click save to disk and we'll have our IK cached so it would be a little bit faster there is no no big difference between uh, these two methods in the cost they are playing quite quite equal still we export import one animation asset less. The main con is that uh, we can apply only one animation at a time for the MetaHuman. And uh, as for the pros, if we look at the neck area, in the retarget method we have uh, all our skinning weights from Unreal, so this is our original. And uh, if we look on the previous method we have some troubles in the neck area. If we compare these two, this is the weights method. And this is the retargeting method. So if you look here, you will see it. Yeah, you can still use the weights method for the city sample crowds pipeline. And uh, if you just wanna have your metahuman merged inside of uh, Houdini, you just can go with the retarget method. And of course, you can export this uh, to Color or Marvelous, make some cloth and export it back to Houdini and simulate here, and so on and so on. And the last thing about the new method, this checkbox connect meshes. What this does is uh, just fusing after merging head and body. Uh, for now, uh, it is disabled by default uh, because uh, it is quite heavy. If you need uh, your meshes connected, just click here and you'll have one mesh. Maybe let's uh, recreate this fast. Let's drop down the Metacomp and select our body and face meshes. We'll go with the standard MetaHuman. Let's select, I don't know, maybe running animation and uh, it is working. Let's give it a name and uh, let's create maybe a new folder. I accept. Okay, and let's click save. It is saved and uh, it works a bit faster. Of course, we can do this uh, for the CT sample crowd skeletal meshes. And by the way, I've uh, made a little mistake in the previous video. Let's select uh, our weights method and uh, our body mesh and let's select our face. Okay, and here is my mistake. For this to work properly, we need to uh, select not uh, the body skeletal mesh because um, it has only hands. You see, we have only hands and when we are fusing it, there's nothing, nothing to fuse and all the weights are just uh, don't work correctly. For this uh, to work properly, we need to select not the body, but the skeletal mesh that uh, has our torso or top part. 
like short jacket or uh, when we select the right mesh we need to have this picture not this one because uh, all the weights uh, would be incorrect the last thing that we need to do is to select the face material head synthesized in this case preview animation but first we need to have it run to flip uh, loading animation takes some time but it is working what happens when we select the body instead of the top or torso and yeah you can see it works but not how we expect this A rule of thumb is to to have uh, the right mesh here okay looks like that's it and uh, see ya